All right, let's bring in Delia Gonsalves now. Yeah, she's at Children's National where they are already starting to pre-register kids ahead of Pfizer's vaccine approval for children between 12 and 16. And what are they seeing there, Dee? So get this, the pre-registration site just went live yesterday and demand is very high. I just checked in with the folks at Children's National Hospital. They say more than 1,400 children are already signed up to eventually get that Pfizer vaccine. We pediatricians have been waiting a long time for this. Doctors say we are about a week away from the FDA approving the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 12 to 15. Children's National Hospital is getting a head start by letting families in D.C. and Prince George's County pre-register. Once doctors get that green light, they will contact families. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Bud Wiederman says this would be the same vaccine given to older Americans 16 and up. Nothing really changed with the vaccine. We just needed more information about this age group to make sure it was as good in that age group as it as it was in the slightly older groups. Children's provided us with these pictures of the hospital's vaccine clinic for young people ages 16 to 22. The doctor says only 13% of patients experience systemic side effects like temporary fatigue and flu-like symptoms. But he says the benefits of the vaccine far outweigh the risk of contracting coronavirus. It's not surprising that there would be hesitation, but I would just uh, strongly urge people to talk to their physicians, uh, someone they trust, and sort of sort out the, the hype. It's a race to get enough people vaccinated before we have some frightening new variant. The doctor says children's vaccines are a game changer, especially when it means getting them back to school in person full time. These vaccines have far exceeded everyone's, including my expectations for how good they would be. So getting in this in place down to 12 years of age totally makes the school issues so much easier. All right, Dee, so we know that Children's National Hospital, they're not just planning to administer this vaccine, but they're also part of a study to get even younger kids vaccinated, right? Younger than 12. That's right. The doctors are really excited about this. In fact, Dr. Bud actually broke the news during our interview a few hours ago. I can tell you that Children's National Hospital will conduct research trials on the vaccine for children 11 and as young as six months old. Now, of course, the doctor says that likely means the doses have to change. They would likely be smaller doses and researchers right now, I'm told, are working on how that plays out. But certainly the doctor said if all goes well, they hope to have those research trials here at Children's by the end of the month. Wow, they're moving quickly. Delia Gonzalez there, thank you so much. And let's talk a bit more about this. Pfizer is already looking ahead to getting more children vaccinated. The company says in September, they're going to apply for emergency authorization for children as young as two years old. Now, all coronavirus vaccines are being used under emergency authorization from the FDA right now. Pfizer says it will apply for full approval by next month. Now, that would make it easier for companies, government agencies, and the military to require vaccination. That approval process could take months, though. And now an encouraging pandemic prediction here. A team of government experts says COVID infections will fall sharply by the end of July. Now, even with slowing vaccination rates, the number of people dying from the virus is also expected to drop dramatically. But this is a huge one. The experts also warn a substantial increase in hospitalizations and deaths if people who are not vaccinated do not follow basic precautions like wearing your mask and keeping your distance from others. All right, take out your phone right now and scan this QR code on your screen. It takes you to our website to download our WUSA 9 app. We have you covered on all the latest news about these vaccines, COVID-19, and how the government is working to end this pandemic.